gentlemen, everybody. Harry Carey from Rigby Seal on a beautiful day for baseball. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Welcome to another edition of the Ram Report. Today is Monday, March 25th. Hope you have yourself a good start to your cash out Monday. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Ram Report Sports Handicap and Tip Sheet. Come and learn about value percentage play, performance cycles, player availability, and we use a strict money management system. And each and every day we have one mission, and that mission is... Our formula is this. We go out, we hit people in the mouth. Uh, bookmakers in the mouth, and that's our mission here to help you win money each and every day using the Rain Report. All right, folks, got a good show lined up for you guys here today. Always trying to keep it under 10 minutes, and uh, hopefully you guys had a good weekend. We had a pretty good weekend. In fact, if you go look at our selections this weekend, um, just over the weekend, so we'll go back to... Uh, let's go back to Friday. So Friday... We had the uh, the over in the uh, Columbus Blue Jacket game. We won that one. We lost with Memphis over, but we won with Boston. We won with the over in the Utah Jazz game. We won with Tampa Bay, Dallas, and we uh, we had a push last night in the Montreal Canadiens over game. It was, uh, what, 5-1 going into the third period. I thought we can get one goal, but uh, nope, the, uh, both goalies played well. But uh, you know what? We uh, we did pretty well. We, we cashed the money this weekend, and uh, as they say, yeah, not on weekends. All right, uh, got a good show again. Uh, but before we do, we're always going to go feed the ponies. And then uh, we're going to take a look at the opening bell to see um, what the uh, what's come in this weekend when it comes to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the sports betting markets. And one of the reasons why, when you look at my picks, why the over has done really good is because I, I listen to what the markets are telling me, right? Hey, if the markets are telling me that the over is coming in, then I'm going to really follow the markets and bet a lot of the overs, right? Especially in the NHL. Like yesterday, 67% of the games went over. On the seven-day average, 55.1% of the games went over. NBA favorites are really crushing it right now. 81.1% compared to 70.7 on the uh, on the year-to-date average, and 56.9 for the uh, the favorites winning. So favorites are winning at a very high clip in the NBA. Not so much in the NHL, though. If you look at the NHL, and uh, where's my little uh, my my little uh, Oregon there, my uh, NHL Oregon. You can see the um, 57.7% of the uh, favorites not doing really good in the NHL favorites, 577 61.3% when it comes to uh, puck line. So puck line is doing, but this is where I'm this is where I'm making the money. 63.4% of the games have gone over the last seven days. And when you look at my uh, my premium picks, my best bets, you can see I'm betting a lot of over in the Montreal game. We pushed it. You know what? Still good. We got the money back. That was over at Utah, uh, over in the Memphis, Columbus Blue Jackets over, uh, Detroit. We had one under there. Look at that loss. St. Louis over, Arizona over, Man, uh, Grizzlies over. So you see the um, the trend on a lot of overs, right? And again, listen to what the markets are telling you. And um, you know if they're telling you that the overs are coming in, um, it, trying to really find that re- the, the the reversal or the top uh, of when to start going the other way is like trying to catch a fallen knife. Right? It's really hard to do. All right, the, let's go uh, feed the ponies for a few minutes. And uh, we're going to go to, let me see here. I think not a lot of racing. So not a lot of racing going on on a Monday, right? All the the, uh, the big races are either Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, you know, your golf streams, your Santa Anita, Aqueducts, and all that. Um, but, hey, Woodbine should be opening up pretty soon here in, um, in Toronto. I'm in Ottawa, so I'm not here in Toronto. I'm in Ottawa. But uh, Parks Racing today, uh, $7,500 claiming race, 1240 post time. Five and a half furlongs in the uh, in the in the slop, and uh, you can see that I got five nine seven in race number one. Titanium wreckage. Arduino taking a ride here on the number five horse. Ninety two morning line on Titanium wreckage. Mila Grosso is uh, the number nine horse. Six to one morning line on Mila Grosso. Haddock taking a ride. Seven horse. Six to one on Carp all day with Vasquez taking a ride here on the seven. And our Joker's Wild. Our value play of the day is Vindicato. Gonzalez taking a ride in the three horse Vindicato, 15 to 1 morning line. But you know what? If you're going to make money today in race number one at Parks, I'm going to put 10 to win, 10 to place on the five horse on Titanium Wreckage with the Derno in the saddle. 9 to 2 morning line. Comes in first, you get paid twice. Comes in second, you get paid once, which is also nice. And that's how you're going to make some money betting the ponies today at Parks Racing. All right, uh, let's uh, take a look at the NHL. 
I'm going to handicap using the uh, the premium tip sheet. Hey, we're going to bring out the big dogs today. And um, yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not, right? And uh, baseball season's coming. Holy cow. Hello, gentlemen, Bobby. Hey, no, I need, I need the other Harry Carey. Oh, yeah, opening day in a couple of days. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to, uh, um, man, baseball is such a, it's, it's such, you know, yeah, here's the thing with baseball. You either love it or you hate it, right? You got, you know, you talk to some of your buddies. Hey, you, what, you try to get people to join our fantasy pool uh, in baseball. Some, <laughs> they, some, some people prefer to watch paint dry, and other people, yeah, I'm in. Hey, that's that's the uh, that's basically the the audience for uh, baseball. All right, uh, minus one forty one is the line here on the Vegas Golden Knights. Six and a half is the total, and uh, I got three point five to three point zero one the over under at six point fifty three. So I do have this game going over the total, and you know what? Remember I said about the markets, right? We gotta follow. What's the what's the markets telling us to do in the NHL right now? And the markets are telling us um, that run. You know what? 63.4% of the games are bullish. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is last night's game went under. So um, on a short term average, the games have gone under. But if you lose, the, I like to use the seven day average to really get a, a, a grasp on what's going on. 63.4%. So that tells me I'm still gonna ride the over until we hit that neutral market, right? So looking at uh, the Vegas Golden Knights on the road against B-type teams, three and eight straight up, four and seven on the puck line, but eight and three to the over. St. Louis at home against those B-type teams, teams with a 50 to 59.9 win percentage. Those B-type teams right here, those are your uh, moderate public confidence team. They you know they have medium rewards, so they're telling us that St. Louis is five and five at home against those teams, four five and one to the under. Um, so that's you know basically a coin flip in my books. And when you look at St. Louis at home this year, 21 and 13. 21 and 13 against the puck line. That's always amazing when I see that. When I see that uh, the puck line matches the uh, the straight up factor, and then 8, 15, 18 and 1 to the under. But uh, Vegas on the road this year, 2014 to the over. And in the last 10 head to head meetings in St. Louis, um, 9 and 1, 90% of the games for Vegas in St. Louis have gone over the total. And when Vegas on the road on one day's rest, 12 and 7 to the over. And I got one more indicator to show you right here. Six and one last 30 days on the road. Six and two last 45. Eight and three last 60 days. The thing I don't like though is uh, St. Louis is one and four. So you know you can't connect the dots fully. You know we'd love to all these dots to connect uh, without no uh, hiccups or no speed bumps. But uh, I'm going to take a little flyer here on a one unit play to the over tonight in the Vegas versus a St. Louis game. All right, uh, staying with the NHL, I'm going to show you a system. I've been I've been telling you guys this system for um, hey. Well, this is a winner, Mike. I'm telling you right now. It's been making people money. 67% NHL system right here. Any away favorites coming off a one goal loss this year in the NHL? Survey says 52 and 25. So, guys, um, pay attention to those systems I give you guys because uh, that one there is cashing the ticket at a 67% clip. And uh, that's uh, that's pretty good in my books. All right, um, let's go to the... Let's go trends are your friends. Hey, eh? you guys want to do some trends are your friends today? Let's go to 80% club. We'll do NBA. And then I'm going to do a separate video on the channel with the all the forecast today. We've got more games in the uh, forecast in the NBA. But I'm going to go here. And um, the, the thing today, though, when you look at the line, let me go get the line. Show you the um, the line into the NBA today. Got a lot of double-digit fate, right? Minus 9, minus 10.5, minus 12.5, 12.5. You know, the bookmakers... They've caught on to the money line uh, thing, right? Um, yeah, I like to bet. Like, here's the thing I like to do when I when the, the when the spread is manageable. When I mean manageable, I'm like like minus four and a half or lower. Then I'll, I'll tend to go to the money line because I don't want to sweat that last two minutes. And you know, I, I showed you guys in the SBI, right? If you look at the SBI, and if you pay attention to the um, the straight up factor and the um, so let's use the seven day average. So if NBA favorites are winning 81.1 percent of the games. You're telling me right now, out of 10 NBA favorites, eight of them are winning the game straight up. And why would you bet underdogs if they're only winning at 19.3% and only covering at 43.4%, 6%, right? So when you round that off, that's 44%. So less than 10 of the underdogs are winning the, the games out of 10 uh, selections, right? Where the favorites are covering at 56, 57%. So you got a better chance of uh, shopping around, trying to get those money lines. And, you know, looking at these money line, um, man, there, there's some big lines today. Let me try to find something that's manageable right here. Uh, minus 16, yeah. See what I mean? Like the Clippers. Okay, Clippers minus 5.5. That's, 
that that's pretty manageable, right? I thought the Toronto game was a low one too. Wait, where's that Toronto and uh, Brooklyn game? Minus six and a half. All right. So let's uh, see if we got any Clipper uh, stats here today. So I'm looking for LA Clippers. And you know what? Here's I'll show you a faster way to get the Clipper stats. So what you do is go to your trends, NBA, and then let's go to that Clipper game uh, at the bottom. View now. And then, the, oh, we haven't generated. Okay, so there you go. See, that's why you do the show on air. So you need to generate those stats, Ron. So I'll, I'll do that while I uh, finish this video. So let me go back here and let's go to the NBA. See, we're not like uh, ESPN or Fox uh, Sports. We have 50 employees doing it, okay? Uh, just me and a, and, a, and a few bots. All right, uh, let me see here. Where's any Clipper stats? Not a lot of Clipper stats today. No 80% uh, no, uh, uh, club stats for the Clippers. So the t <laughs> Clippers are not our friends today. All right, um, you know what? Let me see here. I'll see if I can find one. Uh, how about the... Um, about the new AC. I'm in the old 80% club stat. Let me go to the new, the new one, and let me go to the 80% club stats, NBA. Oh, they haven't generated. Yeah, I haven't. Ge Once I generate those stats, then there'll be more um, right there. All right, we don't need Clippers. Hey, <laughs> hey, screw the Clippers. We're just gonna go with. Um, let me see. What's uh, what's some good trends to tell us right here? Atlanta is a home dog versus conference opponent during the month of uh, March, coming off one ATS win, nine and two to the over. Hey, yeah, pretty good, Harry. Uh, let me see here. Detroit as a road underdog totals two two hundred five between two hundred five and two ten on a Monday. One and nine to the under. Uh, let me scroll down here. The system stats. Cleveland as a favorite last three years with a uh, straight up record of zero and three in their last three games. They're ten and one in the bounce back game. So you know what, Cleveland. But uh, you know what's the line on Cleveland tonight? Probably like minus something, right? Cleveland. Uh, where's Cleveland? Yeah, minus 12, of course. But here's the okay. Here's the thing you're saying. Well, I'm not gonna lay minus 12, Ron. But you can play money line um, parlays, right? So marry those uh, those teams with another one. Uh, Boston on the road this season with three overs or less, 24 and five. And uh, let me see. Let me get one against the point spread blue stat. We got a blue stat against the uh, against the number. Yeah, right. Chicago. Yeah, okay. Chicago as a home team before a division game. After a non-division game, coming off three ATS losses, nine and two ATS. So you know what? Okay, stats not the greatest uh, for uh, trend day, but uh, before you go, let me go look at one more. Um, go to report card. So we did the NHL. I'm going to stay in the NHL theme, and then I'll come back to do another video for the NBA. And uh, so what I like to do with the report card is first I want to see the um, uh, the the cycle the teams are in. So Vegas and St. Louis bullish four and two days, right? So these teams are hot. Bulls just means they're either seven and zero, six and one, or five and two. Last seven. L.A. Kings, Vancouver also bullish. So yeah, two of these teams, um, all teams tonight are really coming in hot. And I do have Vegas winning at fifty six point nine, so, um, Vancouver at sixty two point eight, and let me see here, Vancouver against B type teams sixteen and eight on the season, where L.A. is nine eleven against the A type teams. And how about the uh, B's and B's ten and nine, seven and thirteen. So. Not great, but again, I like the total in that game. Uh, Vancouver, if you like Vancouver, I recommend a two-unit play. If you like the Kings, uh, what's their strength of schedule, though? What's the strength? See, the one thing, everybody's bullish, but who have they played, right? I want to see who um, who the Kings have played. I want to see if the you know they playing the, are they cupcake games or are they playing really tough battle, the tested game? Oh, yeah, you know what? 57.1 and 61.2. So you look at the, uh, you know, L.A., Tampa Bay, good team. Minnesota, not bad. Chicago, bad. Dallas, not bad. Uh, yeah, not bad. A pretty good team, Dallas. Chicago, not good. St. Louis, coming around. Islanders, since they got the wide, they're a competitive team. So, yeah, they're battle-tested. And for Vancouver, the Flames, so-so. Montreal, nope. Sabres, Sabres hit and miss these days. Capitals, Capitals coming in strong. They're like Nashville these days. Avalanche, yeah. Winnipeg, yes. And Vegas, yes. So, both these teams coming in battle-tested tonight. And um, you know what? I think I like the total in this game. I think, I think I like the under, too. All right. There you have it. It's um, yeah, see, hey Ron, uh, what happened to those ten-minute videos? Hey, okay? trying to keep these under <laughs> videos under ten, it's almost impossible. I get on these runs, and next thing you know, I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole, and then it's like, oh, okay, we're in 14 minutes. All right, guys, come and check out the uh, new features here at the uh, website, ATS Stats. I'm putting up a new previews for you guys here, so click on it, and when you click on it, I give you the uh, betting insight, uh, recent form of the teams, you know, what kind of cycles they're going through. 
analytical edges, right? The uh, the value edge, the daily market value index, the chance of winning, chance of covering the Kogo, chance of the game going over the total, and I tell you why we must watch these games. And then uh, once you uh, once you're a member, you want to lock into the members area and go watch uh, get the uh, premium tip sheet. All right, uh, have yourself a great uh, rest of your uh, cash out Monday. And if you're wondering why we call it a cash out Monday, hey, where, where's a good sound bite? Exactly. <laughs> you want to show me the money on a cash out Monday because that tells me you're doing it right and you're, you're winning and, and you're really you're making a profit. Right. And the thing I say all the time to our clients, like, when was the last time you cashed out? And if you're sitting there and there's like a dead silence and a dead pause, um, then, you know, you're in trouble. Right. And then, you know, he's like, OK, you know what? I got to hit the reset button here, the staples reset button and say, what am I doing wrong? What do I do right? And um, always go with this philosophy and I'll leave you on this. Less is more. In the meantime, shop for value, play those percentages, and I'll see you back here on a Ruby Tuesday with a lot of what? And we will. Cheers.